What's up guys, Green Bay Peyton is back and today I am going to be playing Would You Rather. Um, I played Would You Press the Button uh, like maybe like six months ago. I think it was one of my first YouTube videos and I didn't press the button a lot because you could either do what it asked you to do or just be your normal self. Which, I thought it was okay, but this is actually legitimate because you can, um, because you can, um, sorry, I'm trying to think of the word. You have to choose what you have to do. So, like, you, you can, because in Would You Press the Button, you can either do this and get something good out of it, or just be your normal self. This, you actually have to choose one or the other, which I actually like way more. And stay till the end of the video because I'm going to be releasing a new outro. Like the intros may be off and on again. I don't know what I'll do for intros. But there's going to be a new outro in, um, in, the, in, in the end of the video. So just stay tuned for that. Or you can just skip right on to it. I don't care. So the first question, would you rather be married to a morbidly obese and ugly person who is incredibly wealthy or be married to a gorgeous person who is on welfare a uh, gorgeous person on welfare that's what i'm going with. you see more, most people agree with me almost a million people agree with me i like that oh come on so would you rather discover the Loch Ness monster or discover bigfoot Personally, I would like to discover the Loch Ness Monster because I'd probably be on land when I discover it. Where Bigfoot, I would have to be on land, and if I find it, it would probably kill me. No offense to Bigfoot, he's awesome, but I'm not going to take the risk with him killing me or injuring me. No. Yay, if people agree with me. And plus, I can actually show you who agrees with you and who doesn't, which I like because I like hearing people agree with me. So, would you rather soil yourself and have n nobody know, or not soil yourself, but everybody thinks you did? I don't even know what that means, so I'm just going to skip to the next one. Okay, be a constant failure, or be, an un be a happy failure, or a sad si success, is what it's saying. I'd rather be happy, I'd rather be a happy failure, because... You know you tried. I mean, you tried, and you should be happy with that. I mean, tell that to anyone who's who's been on the '90s. Tell that to anyone on the on the 2007 Patriots, especially Randy Moss. I mean, he's I mean he's never won a Super Bowl, and he should be pretty happy with his career. I mean, he had the best rookie season of all time, no doubt. He's been a part of a 16 and 0 squad. And he has the record for most single season touchdowns and arguably one of the most talented receivers of all time. Randy Moss, if you're hearing this, I love you, buddy. You are awesome. I actually have your Patriots jersey. Either way, be a content failure. Yay! I win. I don't really win, but you get the point. If you only had one knife, what would you spread first? Peanut butter or jelly? Uh, I'm allergic to peanuts, so jelly. What? what? What's wrong with you people? Actually, then again, this is a, this is the peanut butter jelly, and I would expect most people to pick peanut butter, but I'm allergic, so I get the exception. Beat a tiger in a fight, beat a tiger in a fight. Hold on. My bad, my bad. Beat a tiger in a fight who ate a man, or beat a man in a fight who ate a tiger. Well, be it, well tigers pretty much eat men, like if they're provoked, but being a man who ate a tiger is pretty gnarly. Gnarly dude, like, like the surfer dude. Uh, either way, beating a man who's, who ate a tiger, I mean, that's pretty awesome. That'd be a, oh wow, more people picked the tiger. As you can see, 506, 505. Wow. 
Punch Jar Jar Binks for an hour of a conversation. <laughs> oh my god, this made me crack up. Maria Merkin, if you are watching this, I bet you're loving this question. I already know it. If you don't know who she is, she's just a, a person in my math and literacy class, class at school, and she's in love with Star Wars pretty much. And who wouldn't be? Because Star Wars is awesome. But. Punch and Jar Jar Binks would get my anger out about the Hawks losing to the to the to the Blues, but then again, Yoda would give me wisdom, so I wouldn't have constant meltdowns about law about big losses. I mean, no offense to myself, but Packers Seahawks meltdown, Packers Cardinals. Well, it was kind of meltdown for Packers Cardinals because right after that was SNL. And then Jared Schleff just made me lose it. it. It made me crack up so bad. I loved it. SNL, thank you. Um, and then, um, what's it called? Um, Hawks Blues, Meltdown. So I would say Yoda would make me wise so I wouldn't have those meltdowns again. And plus I love Jar Jar Banks. I mean, he's, a, he's like the SpongeBob, or maybe even the Patrick of, of Star Wars. And, I, and Spongebob is honestly the best show ever. I mean, even if you hate the show, you have to admit, it is an awesome show. Yes! They agree with me. Either way, be a homemaker or be a breadwinner. A uh, breadwinner! Yeah, breadwinner. Yay, breadwinner. The breadwinner wins. Puns. Da -da 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 -da. Puns. Wear pants too high or wear pants too low. Ooh. Can I get a pass? I wear my pants already. I wear my pants the same. Hey, I'm making a YouTube video. Hi, I'm making a YouTube video. Sorry, there were people outside my window, they didn't see me. Either way, make, wearing my pants too high would make me look like a jerk. Wearing my pants too low makes me cool, but then I trip over myself all the time. High pants, I can barely walk, but then again, I don't trip. Then again, being a geek means good grades, so frick it. Wear pants too high, I'll take it. Be stuck with Dawn or be stuck with me? I don't even know what Dawn is, but I like May. It's May right now, and I love this weather. This weather's being awesome with us. Thank you, Mother Nature. And by the way, if you don't know where I live, I'm in the, I'm in like the area of Chicago. I'm in the area of Chicago. So the weather right now is being really nice to us, so I'd rather be stuck with May. Have Pokemon be real. Super, uh, superheroes exist because I hate Pokemon. It's too confusing. I just more people like superheroes. I like that. Be a hawk or be a shark. Uh, be a hawk because black hawks. Oh, black hawks. We rule. We're the best. Dynasty. Black hawks are a dynasty. Yeah. Run upstairs and barricade the second floor, or sequester yourselves in the oh. If a zombie horde has just broken into the farmhouse where six other survivors were hiding. Would you rather run upstairs and barricade the second floor or sequester yourself? In? Well, the cellar they break in and we have nowhere to escape. If we barricade the second floor, then we can just jump out a window if they come up there. So yes, people are smart. People are smart. Even though I think people are stupid. Either way, this is gonna be the last one. If you had a daughter, would you rather have her die of terminal cancer at 18 or ever get kidnapped and sold into sick oh my god can i skip this i don't want to answer this i want to answer that question i'm sorry people i'm not answering that arm yourself i wouldn't want my daughter to live to at least the age of 60. Or, okay if you were in the rough part of town so pretty much the projects arm yourself with the most powerful nerf guns arm yourself with the most powerful um, Nerf guns just use foam darts. Super soakers use water, and if it's the most powerful, it's probably a fire hose, which can hurt people, actually. 
So yeah, I would arm myself with the super soaker. Okay, good luck dying in the projects. Good luck to you people. So that's pretty much it everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. And I'll see you guys later. This is the new outro. <laughs> Pretty cold in the stones, in the mix in the bank, legacy.